Hey farms, welcome to another moment with Anne and I'm your real estate expert that can help you get the kind of property you need. So many people ask me this question and I really want to talk about it. I want to um, share my own view about it. People want to buy a house but they don't know how much house costs in Nigeria and it's good. I give you a very rough brief or amount you can get as of May 2020 okay this video is done at may 2020 it's 13 a.m and you've got to understand that buying a property within lagos will cost you some money but it all depends on what you have at hand okay and um, so many people want to buy a house they don't want to buy land they just want to buy a house okay already built house will cost you a lot i made a video some time ago on how to build a house in lagos as in how to build a house so you've got to watch that video because you have a broadened understanding on the best ways to build a house in lagos on how to go about it and what to do so that you can build your own house if you want to buy land but if you are planning to buy a house You've got to have what you call cash at hand okay and i'll share with you two ways you can buy a house within lagos the first way is by um buying it outrightly when i mean outrightly you are paying for the house cash getting all your document and moving into the house okay and the second way is this you buy a house instrumentally most time this work this way that instrumentally, I want to talk about it in two ways. The first way that you can buy a house instrumentally is one, your house is already built and you want to pay like half and spread the balance to either six months or one year. Okay. Then the second one I have is the off-plan apartment. I did a video on the off-plan apartment and you've got to watch it so that you can get to understand what off-plan apartment looks like. But before I proceed, if you're new here please hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post right here on the heart to heart tv it's a good thing that you want to buy a house but you've got to consider what you have at hand okay don't do more than yourself so many people want to buy a house of 50 million and what they have at hand is 25 million and in the next one year they may not be having 10 million or they may not be having up to 50 million or the 25 million to balance up the payment so you've got to consider what you have at hand if you have 25 million naira, you want to buy a house you can get a house of 21 million naira, and that house is what we call off-plan apartment you pay certain amount of money they start building your apartment for you and you spread the balance as you wish okay you can even decide okay um this house worth 21 million naira, which is currently vantage courts that i have at hand and uh, we have some other off-plan apartment that you can key into and this house worth 21 million naira. i have 25 million naira. i don't want to drop all i all that i have but i can drop like 15 so that this house will can proceed then i spread the remaining balance which is 6 million naira, into six months one year 18 months or thereabouts but you've got to understand what you're doing you've got to know that you're taking the right step in buying a house I'm just giving you an instance okay so if you want to buy a house you've got to put all of these things in consideration first the payment terms okay I've mentioned the kind of payment terms and the second thing you need to look at is the location which location do you really want to buy from okay some people will tell me and where should I buy from? Should I buy a house? If let's assume I want to buy a house in Lagos, should I buy on the mainland or on the island? Yes, you can buy on the mainland, you can buy on the island. But I can bet you that island properties are on the high side. Island properties are on the high side and the return on investment is high. I mean, it's like this. You can't just... Over, over overlook it okay so you've got to re reason all of this when banana island came out the price it is currently is not the price it was selling as a then when lucky was selling when it was all bush it was selling it wasn't selling at the rate of 100 million that it is right now so right now you can pay as much as 100 million for a house or for the land in lucky and you'll be wondering oh how was it before it wasn't up to that before the amount it was 
then it can be compared to now so you can see how the return on investment as in became very very massive that even if that is the only thing you have as a person it could make you a millionaire as in not just small millionaire but that big millionaire right here in nigeria okay so you've got to understand how lagos real estate market works okay it's not stagnant so if you're buying a property or you you've been having interest to buy a particular property right here in lagos this is a very great deal for you you should not overlook it you should not um procrastinate just act ask the right agent and act fast when i mean act fast i mean take that bold step okay don't delay don't um, think about it too much if you're with the right agent you will get a right property now some people will tell you okay how much does house cost in this particular location now i want to go into um now you've known the location what is the cost like because first of all, like I mentioned, you need to decide the payment term that you want to do. Because that will determine the location you want. It will also determine the cost of the particular property you'll be going for. So when you're looking at the cost, if you ask me around Ikeja, what is the prices of property you can get within Lagos? I'll tell you, you can get property from 200 million upward. If you see a property of 100 million, maybe the owner just want to sell it. And that's why you're getting it for that price. I've seen a property along Obaakra Road of, for 1 billion in Ikeja. So you've got to understand how this works, okay? Now, if you now move to the island area, you may ask me how, how does island work? Island is where I stay. So I can tell you a lot more about island. When you're coming to the island area, guess what? From Lekki you'll be hearing properties, I mean houses of 50 million, 100 million, 150 million, 250 million, 300 million. Now, if you, let's, let's now look at um, Ikoi. Ikoi is one of the most expensive area in Lagos. It's a luxury location, I must say. So if you're looking for a very luxury location to live in that is secured, and the return on investment is very high even if you buy a house and you choose to rent it out you're going to be making a lot of money from it Iko is one of the most respected and most expensive area in lagos Ikoyi is one of the most expensive even in africa okay so i'm going to be showing you um another video that um you may get the link below and that video i talked about a house in Ikoyi that was 280 million naira and that house is good to go okay it's a four bedroom apartment four bedroom duplex and it's really really good to go all you need to do is to inspect it and pay that's it so when we move to vi you can get houses in vi you know most houses in vi are flat flat buying okay so when you see houses like that in vi you can pay as as much as 100 million 150 million 200 million upward up to 1 billion so all of these things are located within lagos then when you move you leave lekki area you want to move to lekki is also ikate okay when you move to um osapa area agungi chevron you can get apartment there from 50 million and above okay this 50 million i'm saying is just like okay you just saw it and that's why you're buying but Usapa is one of the most expensive also. Usapa houses are from 100 million upward, you know. And But before it wasn't like that. But suddenly real estate in these locations I'm actually mentioning, this skyrocket on its own. So you've got to know how these things work. And when you now move to Ikota area, you move to Aja, Shongotedo, you'll be seeing houses of still 70 50 million aja is one of the most strategic areas you cannot miss not buying a property from because i was once in aja when i was much younger and i knew when aja was on bush and they had this wonder city this church wonder city that is still there along the road but the rest of the area were bush but today houses around these locations are what from 40 million 50 million 70 million and above and people are buying so you've got to understand how these things work now if you move to abijo bogije area 
Abuya, yeah, you will see houses what from 30 million and above. Okay, you will see houses even what 50 million around that location. Aja is something else, Aja has this <laughs> feeling of growing in terms of investment. I mean, real estate investment. So you've got to understand how this thing work. Okay, when you now move again down, down to um, Eleko, Ibejileki area, Ekpe, those are actually developing areas, but so many things have still been happening around this location. And you've got to understand how this thing work. Now, all of these prices I'm mentioning are not stagnant. They vary. So take notes, ask me a question, and I'll be willing to answer you. Thank you for watching this clip. Make sure you share with other people you know it could help. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time I do a post right here on the Hatora TV. I love you now and always. Bye bye.